Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come on back tomorrow. There's a big old thumbprint on our lens. Oh, I'm gosh. staring right at it. <laughs> we'll have to go into the P.O. Box um, to check that out. Today went by fast. Did it go by faster than yesterday? Mm -hmm. And I feel like we should not stay awake until 2 in the morning tonight <laughs> like we did yesterday. But at least when we have two episodes of uh, Stranger Things. Right. So. Got but, out of the house. Two more days left of work before our road trip. Feeling good. What in tarnation? So first we have this from our friend Maria and family. Yeah, shouldn't have. It was an anniversary gift, the card said. Also, I got a new debit card because thanks to somebody on in Kissimmee who stole my debit card and tried going to the gas station and oldnavy.com. Couldn't get my money. At least it was expiring soon. Yeah, so I got, they just sent me a new card. You guys are too kind. Sweet. So sweet. Oh. Ooh, this is from Diamond Victoria. Yay. Look at this cuteness, cozy spot. Look at that. Guess who's gonna try this out first? Eve. Eve's gonna try it first. I forgot to update you guys on our road trip playlist. Right now, I just have Macklemore, Postal Service, and Yellow Card. So, any good suggestions? You let us know. I'm going to add. Some queen. Oh. I've been feeling queen lately. I don't have my head on, so my hair is going to be crazy. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'll just cut it up right before, right on top of your sunglasses. Um, any other requests you have for the road trip playlist? I don't appreciate being put on the spot like that. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Hello? You know what a girl's dreams comes true means? There's still a fingerprint on the lens. She clears out the Oreos. Toons. Before dinner. So we're gonna get dinner going and I'm gonna go get together that little play area so you can play with it before James does. James, you better hurry up or else he's gonna play with all your toys. Too late. James, you're grounded, your room's a mess. All right, this needs to go somewhere because that table needs to go somewhere. The peaches just don't want it so we might throw it away. The table. But I'm, I'm gonna, it is a mess. But I'm gonna put together this cozy spot toy. All I'm saying is asking, does our son have an aesthetic already? And he's not even born. This has got to me some very mod some very sugarboo and co slash a little bit with a little bit of sprinkle modernism on there. I think that's what it is, but come on, look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Baby's got Alexa up in his room. Mickey Mouse, Chicago. That right there is the definition of the Rookhouse. With a Lauren Shankle original right there. Come on now. Definition of the Rookhouse. Is there anything in front of me right now? I just took the camera from her. I don't even know if she's gonna vlog her cooking dinner. Sarah just called Eve's zucchini. Sarah just called Eve silly for liking zucchini. But I wanted to show you, I'm unpackaging this. And just like I said when we were when we were constructing the crib and how I waited my whole life. I've also waited my whole life to get extremely frustrated at getting toys and things out of things with these zip ties and tape combos. I've made it. Alrighty, so for dinner, we're gonna have the zucchini and tomato like stew over rice. I'm gonna make it um, into like a sweet soy sauce, but also spicy. I'll show you how I'll, how I'll zhuzh it up. Then we're gonna have these Asian veggie burgers on tortillas and this Asian chopped salad kit. We never buy these. I bought it specifically for like cauliflower tacos that I never ended up making. Um, so yeah, kind of an easier dinner tonight. The veggies, when I started frying them up, I just had salt, pepper, minced garlic, and some ginger on them. Um, now that they've cooked a while, I added like three swirls of soy sauce. I'll probably add two swirls of agave nectar. You can use honey if you want. Um, and then add in some red pepper flakes and then I'll taste it and see if it needs some more ginger or garlic. But it's just like a really simple sauce that I use all the time because it's good on salads, it's good 
for anything really. Um, and then you just make it as spicy or sweet as you want. She's dishing it. She's dishing it. She's dishing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost vacation time. What? Vacation. Kind well, not really, but kind of. It's like half. Yeah. But I already miss her. Yeah. Look at her staring so intently. Oh, 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 did something drop over there? <laughs> no. This is looking good. Smelling even better. Makes me want to go get Taco Bell, kind of. Oh, gosh. Just because these remind me of Crunchwrap Supremes. Here's it all dished up. Smells great, looks great. And we're about to finish, we're about to start episode seven of eight of the last season of Stranger Things. I'm proud of us. There's a, um, there's a trailer out for season four, but we're not allowed to watch it until. We're done? Yeah, Jordan sent it to me. Our friend Jordan Curry, you know her? She Over. said, I, we, she sent it to me, but she said we have to wait. We finished season three of Stranger Things, and we were pretty wrecked from it. Emotionally. Mm -hmm. Physically. Peter proclaimed he's not watching season four. We did watch a trailer for it, which might have changed his tune, which we aren't going to say any details about. Yeah, but for about five minutes between the watching, actually from like the last 15 minutes of the last episode up until about five minutes after we finished it, I 100% was never going to watch a single episode of <laughs> Stranger Things ever again in my entire life. And that was Not actually... just season four. Like, I was never going to watch another episode. Because <laughs> that's what I do. Yeah. When things break my heart like that. Yeah. Is I, I never watch them okay again. I was pretty okay until, like, the last scene. Never again. So, the Ballinger family are, like... I would say, like, the, our favorite. The, I, I think if you took the Ballinger family and Casey Neistat pre, <laughs> like, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago now, um, back when Casey used to, like, before he moved out of New York, um, that is the perfect mold of our YouTube life and love. Yeah. Like, and, like, Disney I've YouTube watched... is not our right. jam. I've watched Colleen since high school, like, my last year of high school, which was... 10 years ago. We would have celebrated a 10 year anniversary of school this year, but. But if you take Ballinger family, Colleen Ballinger, Rachel Ballinger, Joshua DTV, Casey Neistat, yeah. Bucket List, Ryan Sarhan, right. like that's like, our core. But like we watched Casey and the Ballinger family like much before, oh, yeah. like before we moved a long time. I've gone back and watched every single Casey video, I think. Yeah. Ever. Um, but Even, the like, Ballinger channel, at one point. what I was, why, why I wanted to bring them up was because they had Christmas, or yeah, they had Christmas. It's like, Christmas, Christmas. They just like celebrated Christmas. So we might watch some of those vlogs before Peter goes on his run. I wish it would have gotten a haircut before pre quarantine. Plus, what do you guys think about us getting a 56 millimeter lens? I think. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know if they know what that means. Google it. Um, I think it's going to be great for us to take pictures. And, like, we're going to vlog still after James is here, but, like, I need some crisp photos of my baby. And I feel like we need a 56 mil lens. Just a gal and her pooch. <laughs> we took even a little bit of a W A L K. Now. She really doesn't know that word. We kind of have a cold word. But I don't know. Recently, she's been knowing more words. But now she's about to relax and <laughs> finish watching Frozen 2 with Sarah. Well, I go out for a little run. Four miles? Four miles. And it never rained. Yeah, which is actually... It I'm got gonna creepy, but it never rained. I'm going to complain the past yesterday when it was raining, and I'm going to complain that it didn't rain because it was muggy and hot out when we just took her. It's Florida. It's Florida. The tail's dropping. Three. Oh! What was that? Change of plan. <laughs> we keep saying like we just have two more nights with her and we gotta soak it all up. Check it out, world's smallest train for a city. It's got a small skyline Orlando and you got a small train. Two cars, that's it. Whew. So I will say, um, not as bad as I thought condition wise. It is real sticky. But what's cool is when I hit Park Avenue. They have a lot of flowers on, and I think oftentimes I get out after a rain, so I don't always smell them, but, ooh, they are potent in tonight in the best way. Just opened up my lungs. I felt so good and smelled so good to hit, hit a Park Avenue, and the second I turned by Rollins, bam, right in the face. 
some beautiful smelling flowers, but feel good, feel like a good run. Feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things. So we're, I gotta look, I think we're on middle of week two of me going back and running with my whole consistency mindset. So get out there, it's gonna hurt and then it feels really good once you get back into it. All right, what is today? What is today? What is today? What is today? Today is the 11th. Just three more days till we leave. August 11th by Joseph Campbell. The privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. Oh, I dig that a lot. The privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. I'm all set. I don't stink anymore. Just put some lotion on my tattoo. It's healing up pretty good. Really just a little piece left of one of the stars is all that's left to heal. But we'll wait, we'll wait till the hair grows back and everything's really spotlighted. But I love it, still. I have to get my puppy, she fell asleep in the living room and that's not where she sleeps. Um, I am emotionally attached to her, so she will sleep in our room. Um, but the evening is coming to a close. Still not okay from Stranger Things Season 3. Don't know how I feel about the whole series. What I got upset the about. whole series? Yeah, what I got upset about got debunked in the season four trailer. So don't watch that. Thanks, Jordan, for the heads up. Um, but still mad. Still mad. Just for those 20 minutes where I was mad. I'm mad about being mad. Anyway, tomorrow is Wednesday. My boss returns. It's I'm already halfway through. Today was halfway through with work for the week because I'm not working Friday. Um, so that's great. And tomorrow we really start prepping to go. We gotta get our laundry set. We gotta make a list of road snacks mm -hmm. that we're gonna go get. And get Eve all prepped. I think we have everything yeah. for her. I think we're just gonna need like extra pillows in the car to make sure I'm comfy. Yes, but we're gonna bring Eve to our friends on Thursday evening. Yes. So we have to give her lots of snuggles tomorrow. But that way we can leave early Friday. Yeah. And she can not be as frazzled by like everything in the car and all that. So, yep. With that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. Let's go to Disney World. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.